Well, greetings from Pennsylvania once again. We're going to do a bit of a late afternoon explore here. But uh, it's daylight, uh, where that whole daylight savings change has occurred again. So we have, you know, more time in the late afternoon and evening now to go out and do this kind of stuff. I did teach this morning. This is Wednesday, what is today? March 11th. Got home, took a little bit of a nap, and now we're out here. Um, I'm back in Swatara State Park. I know I often come here, but I'm in a spot that I have never really hiked before. I'll show you a map here in a little bit. It's a little spot of the park that's not attached to the main park. If that makes any sense, I'll show it on a map here. But it's a location that's kind of been on my radar for a while. Um, just, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you why in a moment here. What, what I am going to show you first here is two uh, screenshots of Google Maps. The first one is going to be the, the train feature. You're, you're going to see a clear loop. I should mention that this, the, the, the Swatara Rail Trail goes through here, which is once the uh, Lebanon to Tremont Railroad. And that's just right up here. And that feature that you can see on the map is some kind of a little loop that the railroad made. The trail here is called the Roundabout Trail, or the Roundabout Loop. And then I'll show you a Google image, uh, satellite image of the same area. You can clearly see the raised area. It's kind of like a little loop the railroad made to come back around. Kind of interesting. Let me go and show those to you now. Um, they'll be up for a couple of seconds. If you want to see them more, just pause the video. All right, so you can see that little loop feature that I'm talking about that loops off the main rail trail and meets it again. And on the train feature, it looks like there's other little squarish shaped things going on in here. And even on the style image, it looks like they're... I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to be in here. So we're going to be hiking on the trail a little bit and then going off trail as well. They've turned that little loop railroad bed into a trail. Like I said, it's called the roundabout trail. A bit roundabout trail. But let me show you the map here of where we're at. So let me turn you around here. So here is a map of Swatara State Park. And up here is the main park, all in green. But where, where uh, we're at is all the way down here. You see it's a little section that's kind of detached from the main park all the way down here and over here is another map of the area up here is Swatara State Park again but on this map it shows this this purple color as being part of the Indian Town Gap military reservation so depending on how old that map is this area unless it's just a color mistake on the map I get the idea that this part of the park was once owned by the military reservation over there so that's kind of interesting too. Anyway, I'm yapping too much. So we're just gonna get on this trail. I'll probably spend more time off trail than on trail. I'm just gonna go see what's out here. I don't, this could be a complete bust. Maybe there's nothing here to see, but you never know unless you get out and check it out. So let's get, let's do that. Let's quit talking and uh, see what's out here. Uh, and I'm gonna talk some more, but if you do know more about this location, you're watching this video please go ahead and mention in the comments i did try to do a little bit of research online didn't really come up with anything all right let's get exploring so here is the trail like i said they call it the roundabout loop because that's basically what it is and it kind of loops around up through the woods and the old railroad bed is just off in those woods a little bit the main line So you can clearly see how the trail is raised up on both sides because it is an old railroad bed. In fact, there's an old railroad tie right there. Looking off in there, I can see some interesting features. I'm, I'm going to hike the trail first, just see if there's anything along the trail before I go dive down into there. And that over there is the... Uh, Swatara Creek. It's a nice little trail though. And you can definitely see, yeah, definitely some raised items out there. Alright, why? Well, okay, my mind is wandering. It's gonna stick to the trail for now, I think, like I said, and then uh, we'll explore off trail in a bit.
Still walking along the trail, just looking for interesting things and may not look like much, but you know, it's pretty steep and steeper here. It looks like maybe an old road or an old entranceway into the interior part of this loop because it looks, you can kind of see some earth built up there. Look, the road, old road went down into there. That's what it looks like to me. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna continue the the loop, hiking the loop before we head inside. Well, regardless of whatever I find or don't find today, if you're from the area, this is a nice little trail to hike, especially if you're limited in a physical way as to how far you can walk or things like that. I mean, it's an old railroad bed, so it's flat. And it's not that long at all. It's long enough to make a nice little hike. Maybe half a mile long or something like that? I don't know. So it is, hey, like I said, if you, it's, it's a nice little trail to hike. Not much to see here in early March as far as wildflowers and critters and stuff, but I'm sure later in the year it'll be much nicer. All right, I gotta get back to keep my eyes open for some things. And then soon enough, the trail brings us back to the road that we came in on. There is a, there is a culvert down here, but it is a concrete culvert. It's not a cool old, uh, you know, stone arched culvert. So that tells me that this is a, not a terribly old rail bed. I think the main line, the Lebanon to Tremont Railroad is built in the if I remember, was it the 1870s? Early 1870s, if I remember? I could be wrong on that. I'm just trying to I'm just pull it out of my mind. But that's concrete. So that was probably made. So this was probably made much later in time. I saw there were several other culverts up here, but they were the round concrete ones. So probably not terribly old. Anyway, I'm going to go back to where I saw that, what I thought was like an entrance leading down into the middle of it. I'm gonna follow that and just see where that takes me. Sounds like a plan. So I'll meet you back up there. All right, so here we are. Let's head into the interior. I have no idea what we're gonna find in here. I'm hoping there's something interesting. Remnant of what was going on here. But if not, it's still going to be a little adventure. Yeah, you can clearly see it's raised on that side and this side's kind of like an old road going in here. So we're going to try and follow it. Get over these trees and stuff. There is a raised area over here, and up along here, there's a raised area. So that could, I don't think that's natural. Because if, well, I remember looking at that, the terrain image, that first screenshot that I showed you, it did show some rectangular features in the terrain that were not natural, and I think this is one of them. It's clearly some kind of raised ground going up through here. Of course, off the distance, you can see the old rail bed.
here's the end of this feature. I mean, it almost looks like a railroad bed too, but it, it, it's not. It just kind of ends here. I don't really know. So there should be another one of these over there somewhere. I got an old tin of sardines. Who knows, maybe uh, maybe Bigfoot was out here. It is awfully wet back here though. Took a lot to build that railroad bed here. They had to put a, bring a lot of fill in to raise that bed up above this swamp area. Uh, looks like someone's had a vehicle in here at one point though. You can see the tracks. Not sure if that was legally in here or not, but all right. I see the other raised feature right there. The one that I said would be over here. Let's go check that one out then. Yeah, so you can clearly see or walk along this other raised area that runs parallel to the one that was way over there. I was hoping this was gonna be, you know, the remnants of a building or something, but it doesn't look like that. Yeah, we got an old Pepsi bottle here. Look, it has some moss in it. This is, these are, what, these are, I'm pretty sure these are late 60s, early 70s, these barrel-shaped ones. These are actually worth some money. I don't think they're considered antiques, but they would be considered vintage. I've seen them for sale on eBay for like three or five dollars. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll... Might take that one out of the woods or... Maybe just leave it there. We'll see. Alright, at this point I'm just kind of wandering around now and it is actually starting to drizzle. I don't remember reading that was going to start to rain this afternoon, but... Just drizzling now, so we're gonna start heading back to where I parked. Not sure it's supposed to be a downpour or not. Anyway, I am off tomorrow, so normally I'd be getting ready to. I would usually, lots of times, use lots of times I use Wednesday afternoons to get prepared for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursdays are my big teaching day, but the place I teach at on Thursdays has spring break tomorrow, so that's why we're out here. Try to take advantage of you know opportunities I have to just to come out and explore or hike or whatever. And just another like raised feature. I think this area is visible in the satellite images. So I wonder if some of these areas were dug out. Maybe these raised areas are here because they, you know, dug some of this dirt out to use for fill to build up the railroad bed. I don't know. Or maybe they're just trying to drain this area out. Not sure why all these. Like I guess I was hoping those, uh, like when I looked at the train feature on Google Maps, I was hoping it. These lines represent like old building foundations, but I'm not really sure what they are. Yeah, these two areas here definitely show up on the uh, satellite image. You can clearly see them in the, uh, oh, would it be the bottom left part of the image? You can clearly see these two dark channels of water. Clearly, you know, man made. I don't know, for drainage or something? I don't know. We'll walk around just a little bit. I got somebody's little toy trike left out here. I guess it's what you would call it. Like a, oops, branches in the way here. Like a tricycle or a trike missing the front wheel. So JP, if you're watching, <laughs> that's for you. There's your abandoned toy. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. All right, well, that'll be it 
the rain has stopped well the drizzle has stopped but anyway didn't really find a whole lot you know you win some you lose some like I said in other videos I don't script these videos I don't you know <laughs> pretend to find things that I knew were already out there so this another representation that you don't always find something terribly interesting it's a nice trail to hike nice little afternoon to be out so it's not a waste of time for me as far as I'm concerned any day out of here that you can get out of the woods is great to me all right but hey you know if you don't go out and look you never will find anything so I'm gonna get home brew some coffee and just enjoy the rest of my evening thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you around